Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hi, everybody. Are you there? Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you doing? So good. I am so resting in my house because I I have a lot of work today. Okay, so you had a lot of work. Yeah, yeah I understand. Uh, but now it's a, it's a time to relax. Relax is time. Yeah. <laughs> I know Monday. Monday always um seems to be the excuse me <coughs> the day that there's more work to do because yes. all of the work from like the beginning of the week um so it's always crazy on on a Monday but yeah. um I really appreciate you guys connecting uh what about the others how are you Glass, how are you today? Sorry, I, I Hello, can't... teacher. Hi, how are you, Delmi? I'm pretty good, thank you. How are you? Good, good, not too bad myself. Um, yeah, uh, just um, starting, starting the week with this rainy weather, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, for the, probably for the rest of October, it's going to be like this, right? Because I, I think summer hasn't really kicked in yet. Uh, probably we'll have somewhere like somewhere like November or something like that. So, um, so still the rainy weather. Um, is, it, is it raining very hard where you guys are, or is it just drizzly? But it's very snowy here. Yeah, it's drizzly. Drizzly. Yeah. Like what drizzling yes. is what we call in Spanish, uh, juznando. Is it yeah, drizzling? yeah, 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 same here. Yeah, in here in San Jose. Yeah, very... where do you live? In San Jacinto. Oh, okay, yeah, it's quite close yeah. by where I'm in, in yeah. right in San Salvador. <laughs> what about the yeah. rest of you guys? Where do does anybody live outside of San Salvador? Yes, I'm from Metapan. Ah, okay. And how is the weather in Metapan? It was little, it was raining a few days ago. Okay. Today it was a sunny day. Uh -huh. And right now? Right now I am in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And how is it in Santa Ana? It's not raining. It's raining too? It's not raining. Oh, it's not raining. Okay. Yeah. I see. All right. And what about the rest of you guys? Anybody from outside San Salvador? Hi. I am from Casaltepeque. In this oh. moment, it's starting to rain. Ah, okay. okay. Is it raining hard in Casaltepeque, Carlos, or just drizzling? Uh, normally, it's usually it's hard. And in this moment? In this moment, it's starting, it's starting to, to rain. It's very slow. Oh, OK. I see. I see. OK. All right, guys and girls. Well, uh, thank you for everybody for connecting. Well, many of you have connected. There are still a few people that um, are not in class. Um, let me see. Let me see, we have, let's see how many participants we have. Yeah, we only have 11, 11 students. So there's still a lot missing. Maybe they have a lot of work to do or because of the weather, they haven't been able to connect either. Okay, guys, well, um, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had to. I had to work uh, on Saturday. Oh. And 
Yeah, because I I work to a, a freelancer. Mm -hmm. So I have to do work in Saturday all afternoon. And I that and a lot more, but it's very it's very good because in Sunday I want to relax and, and wash the clothes mm -hmm. and, and clean the house mm, good. and uh, sleep a, a little. Ah, good. That's that's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's important to relax and, you know, catch up on a little bit of sleep on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. What about the others? I haven't heard the others. The other people, everybody is so quiet today. I went to the beach with friends. Oh. We traveled to Barra de Santiago mm. on Saturday and we turned it at home on Sunday. Oh, so you stayed there overnight? Yeah. Ah, I see. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Wow. That sounds like fun. Okay. And the other people? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I think I was good. Yeah, it was good, Rafael? Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, before we um, continue class, I wanted to ask you, how are you doing with the platform? Well, today I finished um, the point number, the section number um, 2.5, I think. Good. Excellent, perfect. That's exactly where you should be. Yeah, that, that's that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, you actually, um, I think it should be 2.4 actually. Um, and then, yeah, 2.4, I think it should be the, the, the place where you, you are at. What about the others? Are you at 2.4 or more or less? Yes, I am. I am on that two point something, some okay. 2.4, yeah. Excellent, good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's what we have covered until this moment, until 2.4. So um, everybody, if you have not uh, ca caught up to 2.4, please work a little bit harder this, this um, week. We don't want to get behind. Uh, there are five sections and if you don't start, if you don't start now, you're going to, it's going to be accumulating too much and then you're going to have so much work, you're going to get frustrated. And then you were going to say, teacher, I have no idea what to do. This, you know, the, the, the answers don't work. I don't know what to do. So um, start now. Now that you remember the information, like as we see the information, it's better to do the, the exercises in that particular moment, like maybe one or two days later, but don't do it so later because then you forget and then you don't know how to do it, right? So the idea is that uh, if you are in class, we see the information, you practice it online, and it should be a problem, okay? Um, and remember that by the end of this, the goal is that by the end of this um, uh, this week, I want to have finished um, close to uh, the section number three. So that means that um, I need you to, to be finishing the section three and the midterm like at the beginning of next week so you should be around the midterm at the end of next week so everybody has started the platform right yes i think anybody that has not started the platform because it can happen it has happened <laughs> so anybody that has not started at all in the platform? Somebody that needs help? Okay, um, before anything, I actually wanna do something. I wanna share, share something important with you. 
Um, after the videos, uh, you will probably see a part that says discussion, okay? There's a, a, a small section there that says discussion. Uh, I want to know, can you see right now on my screen? Mm, yes. yes. Yes, we can see now. Good. Okay, so right here I have my video, okay, this is 2.6. And then at the bottom here we have a discussion, okay? Uh, I would like you to work as well on doing the discussion uh, because this will help you to get more practice, okay? So submit your answers there, uh, your own discussion, okay? So that's something that you should be doing. So not just don't just watch the videos, watching the videos is good, but also participate in the forum, okay? That's gonna help you a lot to be able to, practice, to, um, to get better, better results, okay? All right, so guys, um, before anything, um, we're going to start here with the class. Uh, so what we're gonna do is the following. Um, I'm gonna show the whiteboard here. Okay, so right now I'm going to start, um, we're gonna be doing a mind map. Okay, you guys know what a mind map is? You guys wanna know what a mind map is or not really? No? I'm not sure. Okay, what do you think it is? Any ideas of what you think it is? Sorry, teacher. What did you say? A mind map. What is a mind map? I don't really know. No? OK. All right, well, it's OK. So I will tell you um, it, I will tell you there uh, what what it is. Basically a mind map, uh, what it is, is just, um, it's- Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's uh, basically um, kind of like a- To put ideas, right? Yes, ideas. It's, it's uh, basically um, making uh, many, many ideas to be able to get different uh, information, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do a mind map for, uh, for jobs, okay? So what I want you to do is, I want you to write here. This is going, I'm going, I'm going to open it up for everybody. So you have the opportunity of, uh, of sharing your ideas and writing them down in the way in the whiteboard so everybody can participate. All you gotta do is like, you can draw a line like this, right? And then write down your job. For example, I'm going to, I'm just like, to give an example, I'm gonna say my job, my job is a teacher. And put it with a different color because I want to distinguish it. So I'm going to write a teacher. Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and write down uh, as many uh, jobs as possible. Okay. I'm going to give you about well, three minutes to go ahead and write things down. Okay. So everybody can participate. Okay. You can. Go ahead and take control and write down in the board.
you guys know how to how to hit control? No. No? No, I don't have the control. Okay. Um, all right, good. So I have Jasmine that has already um, taken control. Okay. Um, she like basically this is, you have a little on, on the top there, you have a toolbar and uh, you can use as a share whiteboard. Sorry, share, uh, sorry. Yeah, the whiteboard and there's like a little pen. So you can go ahead and write that anything down, anything you want. And you can choose your colors, it's up to you. Okay, yeah. Go ahead, that's fine. That's, that's fine, it's okay. Yeah, you can do it, you can write in text or you can write it with the, the pen, it's up to you. Okay, so you can write any job you want. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent, Andy. Okay, very good, Delmi. Okay. All right. Good, excellent, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody? You can you can go ahead. Like you don't have to write if you already put on uh, a job, but you want to put more. That's okay. You can do that too. And you can choose the, the, the color that you want. It's up to you guys. Okay, very good, Raphael. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Any, any job you want. It could be your job or it could be another job that you're familiar with. So I'm not, it doesn't have to be your job. It can be any job you want. Oh, just be careful not to be racing other people's. That's the only thing. Okay, so you can write whatever you want, but just make sure you're not racing the other names. About 15 more seconds, 15. Peter, how do mm -hmm. I write? Uh, um, there's, there's a tool, a tool bar at the top. Okay. Uh, where it says whiteboard and there's like a little pen. So if you if you click on that pen, it will there will come there will be another bar. And then you there you can choose um the color. Um or you can write in text, whatever whatever you prefer. 
Can you see it? Can you see it, Jasmine? No. I can see um, the toolbar. Uh-huh. Good. Okay. So if you if you click on the toolbar, uh, where it says um, Oh, okay. I see. It. Right? Okay, Thank good. You. It says text. It should say text. And then you click on the text and you just um, click wherever you want on the board to survey. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, you can still continue writing. While you are writing, I'm going to go over the vocabulary that I see here. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, the first one over here, I don't know if that, does that say, it looks like it says counter. What do you mean by counter, Jasmine? Jasmine, can you repeat, can you explain what you mean by uh, counter? Like, um, contar público. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I understand. In that case, the word you're looking for is not counted, but oh. accountant. Accountant, oh. which is similar, but it's not exactly the same, right? But yeah. It's similar to the accountant. Okay. All right. So, so it's accountant, not counter, but accountant. Good. Excellent. Doesn't Very good. the word doesn't the word counter exist? The word counter does exist, uh, okay. but uh, counter is something different. Counter is not a person. Okay. Um, Usually, usually you don't refer to counter as a person. You usually refer to counter as like a, a machine. A machine could be a counter. For example, uh, there are certain, like when you go on the bus, uh, you will see, yeah. you will notice that there is a machine you go through uh, where yeah. it spins and that's a counter, right? A, a, that, count, wow. that counts the number of people that come into the bus. But it doesn't, but the word counter would not be referred to for a person. And the profession is okay. accountant. Okay. 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 Thanks. All right. Yeah. Very good question. Thanks for asking. Okay. Then we have the word vet, which is short for veterinarian. Very good. We have pilot. Be careful. This is not pilot, it's pilot. So be careful of the pronunciation. Then we have engineer, mm -hmm. uh, very good, excellent. Here we have the word nurse mm -hmm. and we have uh, doctor, baker, mechanic, engineer, we have engineer twice, marketer. Um, let me, marketer. Uh, let's see who wrote this one, Claudia. What do you mean by Cla by marketer, Claudia? Claudia, can you explain a little bit what you mean by marketer? Claudia, are you there? No. Okay, I, I just I want to know exactly um, the idea behind this word marketer. I just want to know: um, Are you talking about somebody that sells at a market? Is that what the way you're referring to? Or um, I, I'm not sure. So that's why I wanted to get the idea. 
uh, because if it's somebody that sells at a market, it would be it wouldn't be market share. It would be um, uh, it'd be a salesperson at a market. That would be a salesperson at a market. Um, it, now, if you're saying that somebody works in marketing, um, it's usually we don't say this as a as a noun. Um, it would be what if, for example. It would be like maybe a marketing representative, but it would be marketing, uh, the adjective, okay? So it really depends on that. I don't I know, I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to, okay? All right, um, logistics. Okay, logistic, but again, this is an, this is just like um, marketing, logistic is an, it is an adjective. Um, so for example, it could be a logistics, uh, manager could be logistic manager. Um, it could be like a, a logistic um, agent. Could be right, so something like that. Uh, but we need we need a noun after the word logistic because logistic is an adjective. Okay. All right. Again, we have pilot, lawyer, lawyer, a mechanic. Be careful with this word. Do not pronounce it mechanic. It's not mechanic. In English, um, the word, the, the letters ch are pronounced differently depending on the on the ver on the noun, okay? Or that is on the word, okay? So there are some times where you use the word where the sound ch, and sometimes the word the word sounds like more like k, okay? For example, in this case, the sound is more k. Like, so you say mechanic, not mechanic, okay? So be careful with that, the pronunciation. This one, um, this is the same. You don't say architect, it's archi architect. So it's pronounced like a K, architect, okay? And then we have the word police, drive, uh, we have taxi driver, out, actor, teacher, chef, graphic designer, uh, firefighter, uh, that's a very good. It, I'm glad that you put firefighter and not fireman because fireman only refers to a person that is a man that does that job. But sometimes firefighters can be women too, right? So the word firefighter is more uh, gender. Um, it's it's more politically correct, let's say. Okay, so don't say fireman. It's more firefighter. Okay. Again, we have an architect. Uh, this would be, I think, surgeon, not serger, but surgeon. I'll, re I'll, I'll, I'll write it down. Okay. So and that's not serger, but surgeon. Okay. And then we have chemical engineer, very good, all right? And we have wait, waitress and waiter. Good, just be careful with the waitress. There's no double T. There is double S, but no double T, only one, one T, okay? All right, and I think I got all of them. All right, guys, excellent. Uh, so waitress is for a woman, waiter is for a man, okay? Uh, any questions about the vocabulary here? What surgeon? Surgeon is a type of doctor that operates people. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. Any other vocabulary that you're not familiar with? No? Okay, good. Excellent. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, very, very good guys, excellent. So why was I asking you to um, share different jobs? Well, first of all, because of vocabulary, right? Um, so remember that uh, with the, you need to have, well, we're looking, actually in section number two, 
we are doing a lot of share, um, we're talking about jobs and everything. So we need to be familiar with the vocabulary. So all the vocabulary is clear for you guys? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, it's okay? Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, now, when we are talking about, about jobs, many times uh, we start comparing jobs. Um, for example, if especially if you are like choosing a career, for example, if you're choosing a career and you you want to know which one which is the best job to be able to take, where what career path should I go, then it's important for us to be able to evaluate, right? To be able to say this one is more than this one, this one is less than this one, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what we're going to be learning today. We're going to be learning how to compare. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna share the whiteboard. Okay. All right, um, so I'm gonna share the whiteboard. And first, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be learning about, um, well, first of all, We're going to be learning how to compare. Well, it's also called comparisons. Okay. Now, the most common way that we compare is through what we call adjectives. So some, some adjectives that are very useful when we are talking, when we are comparing different jobs could be, for example, um, Okay, so those are just some examples. Of course, there are many, many more, but those are just some of the examples, right? Of verbs that, sorry, of adjectives that we can use when we are comparing to different, um, to different, uh, what's it called, uh, jobs, okay? Now, other words that we can use to compare the jobs are nouns. So we can okay. What do you what do I mean? What do I mean by nouns? Uh, well, first of all, remember what are nouns? Nouns are uh, people, things, places, animals. Okay. So what words can I use to compare? For example, I can be comparing the amount of hours, okay? We compare the amount of hours that, that the amount of hours that they work or the types of hours they work. Um, I can compare like education, how much education uh, the person needs uh, to do the job. I can also um, compare the work, but the work as a, a noun. Okay, not as the verb, it's a, as a noun, okay, work as a noun. So uh, for example, um, 
like I could say that uh, being a lawyer is more work than being, I don't know, what job could it be? Uh, maybe a clerk, okay? So being a lawyer is more work, right? So it's like more effort, let's say. We can say that work is like effort, okay? We can also compare. Another thing that we can compare when we are talking about nouns, or sorry, about um, jobs, is uh, the verbs. Okay, so we can uh, we can say we can say instead of saying, for example, um, just the verb to be, which will is very easy. It's very um, it, that's like the most common one, right? To so say, for example, it is more demanding. It is less stressful, et cetera, et cetera. So the, it's more common to use the, the, the verb is, but there are other verbs that you can use. And when we're talking about jobs, some of the verbs that we can use are like earn or work. work responsible. Is Sorry? Responsible. Um, responsible is actually um, more about um, the responsible would be an adjective. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, so not not a verb. Okay. Um, and also we can use like uh, travel. Okay. So, uh, for example, loyal. Let no. For example, let's say we can say musicians. Musicians travel travel more than um, the teachers, for example, right? Okay, so uh, we can we can use uh, other verbs other than the verb to be. Like I said, the verb to be is like the most common, but we can use others. Okay, and then we have, um, and uh, we can also use past participles to compare. Remember, past participles are, um, well, if it's a regular verb, then it's going to be in the ED form. If it's not a reg regular verb, then it's going to be, um, it's going to be, well, different, right? Okay. So, for example, we could use uh, verbs like, uh, or better said, like past participles like uh, paid, more, or um, um, more. Mm, no, probably not bored. Uh, past participle paid. Um, Hmm. Interested. Uh, sorry. Interested. Um, compare. Probably not. Um, For example, if valued, I say, okay, it'd be valued. Uh, when we're, we're talking about these are these are your answers are they're not wrong. So what you're answering is correct in, in terms of the past participle. But here, remember, we're looking at the topic of, of uh, comparing jobs, right? So we're looking at past participles related to jobs. Okay? okay. Um, could be- Interested. Esteemed. Okay, esteemed. Those are past participles. Okay, good. So basically those are like the kind of like the vocabulary that we're gonna be using. Of course, this is not limited. It's not like they're, these are like the only adjectives and those are the only nouns and those are the only verbs. No, um, there are, these are just some examples, right? Okay. And what we do basically to be able to compare them is that we're gonna be using different, for example, So we're gonna say, for example, more 
there we go. Um, then the, okay. Or it could be the opposite. The opposite of more would be less, right? So we can have less there than da -da. Okay. For to give an example, we can say um uh, being a doctor is more demanding than being a waiter, for example. Okay, so let me write that down so that you get as you can get the idea here. This is just like, again, this is, this is just an idea. Um, doesn't mean that you necessarily have to agree with me, uh, but generally speaking, we would probably say that being a doctor is more demanding than being a waiter, okay? Um, and with the, the opposite is also true, okay? So we could say, for example, being a waiter, I'm going to switch it around in this case. Being a waiter is less demanding than being a lawyer, sorry, a doctor. Okay, so here, if you've noticed, I've used more demanding and here I've used less demanding to say opposite and the reason is because I have been able to switch these two so here we have a doctor and here we have a waiter and then the opposite over here a waiter and then a doctor that's why it's switched around sounds good guys does that make sense? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. Now, um, that's one way that we can compare. Another way is we can say that Oh, by the way, guys, uh, when I when I have here the dot dot dot, that means right here we would put the adjective. And then here we would continue. So like I said, more, and then we have demanding, then, and in this case, we have a waiter. Less, we have demanding here, then, and we continue being a doctor, okay? And we can also have um, Sorry, I'm going to stay here. Okay. So here we can also not only use adjectives, but we can also use nouns. Okay. Um, so more than we have the, the dot, 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 which is where you're going to put the noun, and then blah, 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 blah. Okay. For example, I can say, Uh, 
Um, working as no, we're best said, yeah, working as a doctor requires more education than working as a nurse, right? You guys know that to be a nurse, a few years, maybe five, six years, tops, I don't know. But, um, but in the case of a doctor, you need at least about 10 years, something like that. So it's gonna be more education. Notice here, the, the word that we are, we are comparing is not an, an adjective, but a noun, okay? And the same is also true. We can go the opposite. We can also say, working as a nurse it requires um, less education than working as a doctor. Okay, which is the opposite of what I just did right now. Oops. Okay, so we have here, uh, we are comparing the education. Okay. Here we have more education. Here we have less. I'm sorry, I don't want to say this and have them like this. It should be with the circle. Here it's more education. Here it's less education and I misspelled education. Let me correct the spelling. Okay. okay, so we have the opposite here because in the first one, I am comparing, or I better said the first one, I'm talking about the doctor first. So I'm comparing the doctor with the nurse. In the second one, I'm comparing the nurse with the doctor. Okay. So far, so good? Yes, everything good. Yeah. And the other thing is I want you to notice that um, in this case, I'm using another verb here. I use the verb is, right? The verb to be. Okay. The same for this one. I use the verb to be, okay. but here I use another verb, right? So I use the verb requires. Okay, so um, that would be the the verb that I'm I'm using to compare. And then finally, the other part that I want to explain to you guys was um, when you want to say that something is the same. Okay. So if you if you say that two things are the same or two things are not the same, then we say we'd say as okay. um, so here we would have the adjective. And this case we don't we just have the, the adjective by itself like we don't change the form of the adjective. So we just say um, as the adjective as, and then we continue with the rest of the sentence. Or we can do it the opposite, which would be not. Okay, that would be the opposite. Not as, as. And that indicates that they are not the same. Okay, so this one means that it's the same. This one means that it's not the same. I'm going to give you one last example. For example, we can say um, 
uh, let's use the word travel, okay? So we can say um, musicians travel as much as actors. So the, what I'm saying there is that um, the amount of travel that they do, the amount of the action of traveling is the same for musicians and actors. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so here I'm actually comparing a noun. Okay. Um, but uh, I can also use per, uh, past participles. Uh, like I said, like for example, um, eh, paid, let's use the verb paid. Okay. We're gonna say that it's not the same. Okay, we're gonna do the opposite. So in this case, we're gonna say, um, uh, let's, let's use, um, okay, vets or doctors, yeah, uh, teachers, let's say teachers are not as well paid as soccer. Layers. Teachers are not as well paid as soccer players. So that means that the, the amount of, of pay that teachers get are not is not the same as soccer players, right? That's what they're saying. So it's not equal. This one is equal, this one is not. Okay. Um so in here, well, what you will find is Um, okay. So we have not as well paid. So here's the comparative. And in this case, if you notice, we're using um, well paid, which is in this case, a past participle. Okay, or if you wanna say it in Spanish, los profesores, no son tan bien pagados como los jugadores de fútbol. Okay. Does that make sense for you guys? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go. So those are the different ways that you can compare um, to professions, right? Using adjectives, nouns. Um, saying that they're not the same. We can also use uh, part, past participles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right. Any questions? Not for the moment. No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher, for the moment. Okay, great. So what I want you to do right now, um, I want you to think about two professions in your family, two professions, any professions in your family. Okay. Actually, I mean, let's, let's think about four professions, what I said. You're going to be comparing in, in one sentence, you're going to be comparing one of those, uh, you're, you're going to be comparing the two, two of those professions. And in another sentence, you're going to be comparing the other two. Okay. So anybody in your family, um, any professions that exist in your family, um, including your profession, it could be your own profession. It could be your, you know, your mom, your dad's, your brothers, your sisters, your husband, your wife, um, your children, anybody, okay? So I want you to right now to make uh, two sentences comparing uh, professions in your family.
getting a job is more easy for an engineer. Uh, getting a job for nurse is less easy than an engineer. Than getting a job as an engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So you gotta make sure that you, you have a complete sentence. Okay, then getting a job as an engineer. Okay, good. And the other thing is be careful uh, with easy. With easy, um, because easy is one of those adjectives that finish in two syllables that finish in a Y. In that case, what we do um, to make a comparative is we don't we don't um, we don't put the word more. You what you do is we eliminate the Y and change the Y to an I and put E R. That's how so it's going to be easier. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not more easy, but easier. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready to share? Ready? I'll give you 30 more seconds. Teacher, yeah, I have one, but I'm not sure if it's correct. Okay. Uh, being a civil engineer is more difficult than a writer. Okay, good. Okay. It's more difficult than being a, a writer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Great. Yeah, very good. Okay. All right, guys, go ahead and tell me what are your some of your your um, your sentences. What about if I say something like? Working as doctor is more complicated than working as teacher nowadays. Good, excellent. That's very. That's a very good example. Very good. Okay, another one. Anybody? Yes, working as a graphic designer demanding more creativity than a journalist. Okay, uh, working as a, a graphic designer. Demand, demand more demand. creativity than what? Than a journalist. Okay, then working as a journalist. Okay. Okay. But remember, you have to um, you have to uh, compare the two things the same. So if we're talking about working as something, you also have to say working as the other thing. Um, All right. If you're talking about getting a job, then the other one also has to be getting a job. Okay, so it has to be, you, you the two have to have the same value that you are comparing. Okay? All right, All right. good. Anybody else? Working as a police officer is dangerous as working as a firefighter. Good, okay, just be careful. You would have to say working as a, did you say police officer? Yes. Okay, working as a police officer is as dangerous as working as a firefighter, as dangerous as. So you have to put as, then after the adjective and after another as. So as, adjective, as, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any others? All right, I wanna hear three more sentences from anybody, anybody in the class. What about if I say, okay, go ahead. <laughs> yes, um, working as a waiter is more difficult than working as an operator in a call center. Yeah. Very good, excellent. Very, very good. Okay. And remember with these uh, sentences, 
you don't have to worry about being like correct in, in terms of connotation because those are your opinions, right? Everybody has different opinions and that's okay. All right, good. Two more, two more sentences. What about if I say something like, for example, um, I have uh, as much money as I did yesterday. Sorry, could you repeat that? Um, I have as much money as I did yesterday. Money, did you say? See, money? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. I have as much money as I, I had yesterday. Yeah, very good. It wouldn't be um, talking about jobs, but yes, the, the grammatical part is okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, being an architect is more delicate than a being a uh, graphic design. Designer. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, very good. Designer. Yeah. Okay. Um, so being a, uh, an architect is more delicate um, than being a, gra a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. One more. Um, working as a hairstylist is more exciting than working as a, an accountant. Good, excellent. You're just missing the verb. What is the verb? Working. Um, no, because in that case, remember, we talked about that working is not, would be not be a noun if it's at the beginning of the sentence, it's an activity. That was actually something that we learned on Thursday, Thursday's class. So what's the verb? Think of it in Spanish. Tell me that in Spanish. Give me, tell me the sentence in Spanish. Um, trabajar como una estilista es más emocionante que trabajar como un contador. Okay, so trabajar como una estilista is más interesante. So in English? Working as a hairstylist is more exciting than working as a accountant. Exactly, very good. Perfect, you got it. Very good, bravo. Okay, all right guys, so it seems to me that you guys do understand it. The majority of you understand how to make it. And that's why I'm gonna ask you to do two things. One, to start working on the platform. Um, you don't have to finish up, but the but the the second part of the the second half of um, section two has to do with the information that we we've seen today. So you can start working on that. And I'd like you to do for homework ten sentences about uh, the jobs in your family, comparing the jobs in your family. Today, uh, I asked you to do two. And then, so for homework, I want you to do 10. And you don't have to do 10 new ones. Like for example, let's say your brother, and your sister are lawyer, like a, one's a lawyer, the other one's a doctor, and you are a veterinarian, to give you an example. Then you can make, com you can make sentences first, comparing the doctor, with the lawyer and then another one comparing the doctor with the veterinarian another one the veterinarian with the doctor so you can go switch it around it doesn't have to be 10 separate um professions you just go ahead and, and compare them okay does that make sense yes this is for tomorrow yeah that's that would be for tomorrow Okay. Okay. You don't. Okay. You don't have to send me. Uh, like, if you want, you can send them to me in the WhatsApp group, and I'll take a look at them and I'll give you any feedback. Uh, but you don't have to write it to me. But what I do need you to do is have it done because we're going to be using it to um, do um, some some discussion with our with our classmates. I'm going to be putting you into breakout rooms so that you can uh, have a chance to discuss. And if you don't, ha if you haven't done the homework, you will have nothing to discuss, right? So I need you to have it done for tomorrow so that you can have something to say with your partner. Does that make sense? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Questions, anybody? No, not really. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a wonderful evening and um, see you tomorrow at nine. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome.